Greetings, beloved. This is a special podcast in which I will share with you my experiences in experimenting dyeing acrylic yarn. As opposed to natural fibers such as cotton, wool, alpaca, and gore, and so on, synthetic fibers are much more difficult to dye. In this series, I will share my personal experience with you. You can find other episodes in a playlist that I will link right here and at the end of each video. And feel free to share your experiences in the comments below. This is episode number one, Getting Started. I didn't plan on actually making a video about this because I was just experimenting, just playing around with some cheap yarn. And I had a couple friends online ask me, how did you do it? What did you do? You know, how did it turn out? What does it look like? Are you going to do a video? So I'm like, sure, might as well. I'll do a video on how it has uh, come about for myself. So it was just an experiment just to see what would happen. I actually seen a video by Debbie the Canadian Crotcheter and she was mentioning how she was dyeing some acrylic yarn using the Rit Dye More. And then I started looking up other ways and found out that you could also dye yarn with acrylic paint. So I tried several different methods, but like I said, I used a very cheap yarn that I just had back in my stash, just something that if I messed up, it wouldn't, you know, it, it wouldn't be anything detrimental. So this is what I picked out that I used. I used just this old, probably vintage Fintex Elite um, four ply. It doesn't feel like it's worsted. It feels more like a DK. Um, so this is what I actually used. And since I wasn't planning on making a video about this, I did take pictures. So I will have to share those with you on this video. Every subsequ subsequent video though, I will take video of it. But I took um, one, two, three, four, five, five different hanks. And I'm gonna show you a picture of the first two that I did. Here we have on top hank number two and on the bottom is hank number one. Hank number two is 276 yards, 4.2 ounces. Hank number one is 175 yards and 2.8 ounces. With both of these, I dampened them down and then I used bright red and pink parfait paints, acrylic paints on each of them. I wrapped them up and I microwaved them. With Hank number one on the bottom, I rinsed it out right away and it went back to almost white with a couple pink flecks in it. I ended up putting it in the RIT dye bath for 10 minutes, then I rinsed it, then I hung it up to dry. With Hank number two, after I microwaved it, I hung it to dry, then I rinsed it after it dried, then I hung it back up to dry again. Both of these hanks were microwaved for a total of six minutes in two minute, two minute in intervals. So this is the first hank I did that you see in the, in the pictures. This is after it has been dried. This is the one that is only 34 inches around. I just wrapped this around a box. This is the one that I had tried to make it with the, the reds and pinks, but it didn't take. I actually like this result because of the pink and lavender speckles. But here you can see a more up close, better than the picture of that first hank. Now, the second one that I also done in the reds and pinks, here is how it turned out. And as you can see, it looks much better. I love the way this works. This is what I am shooting for. I've also learned a better way to tie this. I'll show that in my next video. But that is how that one turned out. Now, 
Now, my third hank, which is the one Oh, and this one also, I put it in the dye bath for about five minutes. And I got this light lavender, and it didn't hide the pink speckles. Now, these two were in the dye pot for 20 minutes. And as you can see, they're both completely... Lavender all the way through. No variegation. Completely lavender. This hank, I thought, okay, I'm going to actually undo this one for you because with this one, I have to look at the ties. Okay. See how these two ties are a little bit lighter? I know that one's kind of purple. I got that wet, but this is not very purple so like probably around in this area right about here see how these two are very purple and these were actually yellow these were yellow before I uh, dyed this hank but I put half of the hank half of it into the dye pot and I held it there for 30 minutes 30 minutes after the 30 minutes was up I dropped the rest into the dye pot as soon as it all got absorbed I took the whole hank out and I took it over and rinsed it like I did the others and as you can see <laughs> I, I think you can see that pretty well it's all the same color 30 minutes versus probably 30 seconds so that tells me it doesn't matter how long how long you put it in there it'll take the same color so I have learned that um, dye more writ dye more is not really the way I want to go so future experiments will be using acrylic paint and my last and final project which I'm very proud of very very proud of because I decided not to use the, the writ dye more I decided to go with acrylic paint so I took my board and I will show you that in the next video that I make my hanks with I made um, 10 hanks I made four of them blue three of them purple and three of them gray each individual hanks and I uh, wrapped them up in the plastic I microwaved them just like I did the other one except this time I microwaved them probably I didn't time myself exactly but it was probably close to 30 minutes each I have a 1250 watt microwave so I put it on 70% power at first for two minutes and then I'll put it on 80% power for two minutes and each time I would I would switch out each color and after they each reached about 30 minutes worth of microwaving then I would take them out of the wrapper and hang them up to dry and here is a picture of them hanging out to dry immediately after being microwaved and cooled and unwrapped okay my apologies I did not get a picture of them as soon as they came out of the wrapper but I do have the pictures of them in the wrapper so here's what they look like well after that I had finished microwaving them and was just waiting for them to cool so I could unwrap them and hang them up And here is what they look like after I rinse them out. I, I let them dry from, you know, just being dyed. I let them dry first. Then I brought them inside 
and rinse them the same way as I did all the others. I let them dry just like I did the others, hot to cold, and then I hung them back up and this is what they looked like, believe it or not, after they were rinsed. I was quite surprised. And the reason I did 10 different colors or 10 different hanks, three different colors, was because I wanted to make a cake. So I started blue, gray, purple, blue, gray, purple, blue, gray, purple, blue. And this is the resulting cake that I made. I am quite impressed with this. My next feat will be, I'll, I'll do a video on it after I do it, but I need to make a swatch out of this and wash it and see if it washes out, what it looks like when it's done. So thank you for coming along this adventure with me. I look forward to seeing you next video. And if anyone, again, has any tips or ideas or suggestions, put them in the comments below. Have a great day. Bye-bye.